Good day and welcome to your favorite sport program on TV Plus Sport. I'm sure a lot of our viewers already gathered to know what is happening on today's show. Yes, so we all got to the news that um, Desire Okpa Anose um, has retired from football. It came as a shock for someone that has done so well for the Super Falcons. She said on her Twitter, um, Instagram, and do that um, she is um, living, that this is the best time for her to leave. So there have been several reports on why should she leave, why and all that. We know she has done so well and a lot of people will not forget the penalty miss in the last World Cup. But I won't be talking this alone. I have um, a special guest, a sport administrator who has done so well for himself in sport. Talking about Henry Wayao. It's good to have you on the show, Henry. Thank you very much, Modashitu. Were you shocked when um, Okpa Anose retired yesterday? Uh, honestly speaking, I wasn't shocked uh, okay. for some reasons, especially regarding... Um, uh, his uh, contributions, you know, uh, she have done so well uh, in aspect of uh, representing the country and of of course herself. But you know, uh, because of so many controversies regarding uh, bonus issue in the NFF uh, with the Super Falcons, so it looks a bit, um, um, I mean, I mean, frustrating in that angle. And I know I would say it's because of uh, the frustration that made her to. Uh, retire so quick, but you know, someone who, ha who have contributed so well right from the local club here uh, with um, uh, uh, Delta um, and also Bayasa Queens. Okay. You know, she have done so well. Then getting to China, she have done it in China with the Women uh, Super League. So, of course, um, going around the country, even uh, with uh, Wolfgang and all that, so she have done so well and uh, being a captain at a time for the national team, uh, that's a big one. So I'm not surprised because uh, she has done well and I know um, she's, she has been a legend anyway since uh, yesterday. We have been seeing her as uh, one of the legends we'll be remembering when it comes to Nigerian um, women football. In fact, African women football because uh, she has uh, not only just uh, hearing her name in Nigeria, uh, she has been all over the world so i think it's a good one for her uh for those who have been encouraging her and as well for the country so we pray that we're going to have more of a desire ugochi in the future yes um the the, the emo born um Okpanoze did so well for herself and um and for the country but let's not take a look at um why you think that it was uh, ceremonially it didn't end well? She mm. missed the penalty in the last game, um, mm. World Cup game, mm. and um, she wrapped and apologized um, to our numerous fan um, across the globe about that miss of penalty. Mm. And all of a sudden, while we're preparing for um, the Paris Olympic, we've not been to the Olympics for a, quite some time. Mm. Um, she announced this. Most often, time people announce only the retirement from country football mm. but surprisingly it has joined uh, she's saying everything about football you don't think that as an ST move or why do you think she'll take a decision at such a time like that especially when the fact that she just recently returned the super falcons mm. after she was left out of the team for almost two years mm. for a bonus um, issue with um, nff uh, for me it's not uh, an issue of uh, being frustrated and also it's not an issue of uh, uh, doing it in inappropriate way for me is not uh, uh, she have done well and I think before she took that decision of going on social media uh, she must have uh, also terrible uh, about her retirement to the appropriate authority maybe she was quick enough to announce it before them and uh, talking about penalty as in her ending uh, for me nobody's monopoly of uh, not missing or not scoring Penalties. penalties and that doesn't mean Messi have missed penalty for at a time. Uh, Ronaldo have done that. Even the great players we know, you know, uh, uh, in the world who are legends now, they have missed penalties. So her own shouldn't be an issue. Uh, of, of course, anyone can miss penalty. Anyone can also score penalty. And she has been scoring penalty, of course, and uh, missing it at this time uh, because she loves. Uh, this game so much and she appreciates her fans, you know, and uh, well wishers. You still see her apologizing, uh, talking about it. So, but this is not, uh, it doesn't really mean that 
she ended badly in her retirement. For me, she has achieved so much that we need to celebrate. Yeah, well, why can't you place her in, 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 um, among the greats? Mm. in Nigerian football, mm. in Nigerian women's football, mm. where, where can you place her? Because we know that she joined in 2010 and mm. that's a glorious um, years um, mm. before she became captain in 2019. Mm. Um, uh, issue with NFF and um, she has about four African Women's Cup of Nations. Mm. I remember I think 2016 and 2018 in the final against Cameroon mm. in Yaoundé, her goal was the decider and that was in the 86 minutes in the presence of um, Paul Bia, mm. the president of um, Cameroon. Cameroon. Mm. So wh where can you place um, Opa Anose Ugochi among the legends? Uh, for me, you know, uh, she has done well. You know, the world knows that, everyone knows that. And when it comes to Niger Nigerian women football, this is just a bit new. And uh, if you should say the first uh, ten or the first five, you will see her there. Okay, that's where I place her. The first five in Nigerian uh, women football, I place her there. And if you talk about Africa and say the first ten in Africa, of course, she will be there as well. So she has done well and uh, she has also written her name in a book that we will forever remember. The same way we remember people like uh, Okocha and so many of them when it comes to the male uh, football, she will be remembered. And she said, great forward. So uh, there's nothing to worry about when it comes to uh, the way she retired, the time she retired. And uh, of course, she did well. At the age of 20, uh, 29, she had already retired. So she had achieved a lot, even in his early 20s. Mm. Yeah. Okay, now let's just take a listener to a bit of um, what she did in 2019 when Thomas Denebi, um, mm. our former coach, became um, the coach of um, the, the Super Falcons. What, what, what she did was exemplary, and um, we should not forget also that she stood in for the rest of the team and put in her career in line. In 2019, from 2026 to 2019, before she became captain, the NFF was owing these um, bonus, um, bonuses and all that. So uh, in 2019, at the fans' World Cup, mm. um, the round of 16 that we lost to Jamie 3 0. Mm. Um, she has to stay and tell that they are not leaving the accommodation place in France, mm. the hotel, that they have to pay um, them before they leave. So uh, NFF decided, according to reports, is all over the place, that they are going to pay only those that are in France, forgetting those that are in 2016 that are not part of them in France. Mm. But she went ahead and told them that they have to pay everybody before she leaves. And immediately they did that, they paid everybody. And the next thing was that they have to route the motor, they remove her captainship, and also they, they did not allow her to continue. Mm. For two years, she didn't come to the Super Falcons before she was called recently. W w do you think that's um, a very good example to lay? Or she was just too confrontational with the Nigerian Football Federation? Because I think she's the best Super Falcons um, um, captain we've ever had. Uh, yeah, Muda, uh, you should bear this in mind. In life, in every sector, in every uh, life situation, we have at born activists. Okay? We have born activists. We have those who would not like to see uh, injustice. I mean, who would not like to embrace injustice, who would not like to embrace uh, irregularities or things that doesn't really matter. So, for, for me, you know, she has done well, as I said. Uh, looking at her from the angle of uh, her character or her behavior within that period, I will classify her as a dogged, rugged, and a core activist who love her team and who also see uh, humanity before anything. So people cannot walk and then you, 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 owe, them. you owe them. Okay, that is the uh, the uh, uh, the holy book uh, or the holy books. They, they may mention about where you walk is where you Get end. you okay. you end. So you can't be walking and you are not getting your thing. So uh, imagine after all these things and then uh, some officials sat down and decide to do anything they like with their bonuses and all that. So she have to voice out. Someone must voice out. And we know, yes, someone must sacrifice in anything like that. She has done the sacrifice, and of course, history will remember her for that. 
So there's no doubt about that, that she's a decent person, no matter how anyone looks at it. Some will say, okay, maybe she, uh, she went for this in a wrong way. No. How do, you want it, uh, how do you want her to go for it? After three years. Yes. So she, she voiced out, even if others are keeping quiet, because if she keeps quiet like others, I don't think we can even hear about the injustice. We, can, we can't hear about Maybe they won't even be paid, like in the previous uh, uh, time, what has been happening. So for me, it's not about uh, those who think uh, it's by uh, character assassination or who thinks uh, it's by telling her what to do or saying she did the wrong thing. I think they are the ones in the wrong side. Mm. She have done the right thing. And they, as I said, there's always an activist in every human being. Mm. So uh, in, in that group, she's an activist. And she have done the right thing. And of course, today history will always remember her. Coincidentally, uh, with your profile, we, we know you're also from Imo. Yes. Am I right? Yeah. And then we know she's that... my sister. She, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not speaking on behalf yeah. of uh, the state. Neither am I viewing the whole thing. Yeah, but we know what she has done. Yeah. yeah, but I'm seeing it from the uh, right angle and different perspective as well. Yeah, no. Someone who is no, in this. No, yeah, the reason why I brought out where she's from, she's from Owewe. Yes. And I know that um, we have one of the football legends, many footballers are mm. from um, Owe, uh, from Imo. Imo State. And yes. Imo is a, um, I think, if I'm right, when it comes to football in the East, yeah. Imo should be. Yeah, we of, should be rated number one yeah, because we have done a lot with. Uh, uh, we were on national club yes. in the past Atlanta. and all that. Yeah, that's that's became, um, Atlanta. Yeah, Atlanta. That's okay. the correct answer. And which of these stars, I think, is it a coach or Kanu? Uh, yeah, Kanu also played for the Iwaya national. Okay. Talking about those that were born from um, yeah. Imo, yes. which of these stars do you, I, I, I don't think, um, which of these popular we stars? We have a uh, so many of them. Okay. There are so many. So, uh, of course, I'm there as well. Okay. So, we have many of us. But what we are saying, this angle of... Uh, and again, for the uh, women football, so many of them, mm. okay? Dear Inimo said there are so many talent. You know, there are a lot of talent. And uh, this is what we have been saying. Let the state government and also uh, whoever that is in good position to assist the young ones to continue doing that. So she has made not only her state proud, she has made the country proud and, of course, the continent. So we are proud of... Uh, uh, this young girl, and we strongly believe that many of them that are like her will find their uh, limelight. Okay, I'll still have to go back to Imo, and um, it's, it's a state that has done so well in sports mm. for, for, for Imo, and um, where, where do you think you're going to place her among the ways of stars from Imo State? No, no, no. She, in, in terms of women football, we place her number one. Yes. She's our, uh, whatever you call it, you know, uh, she's one that came from there and she have done so well. So uh, for me, she should be number one okay. from Imo State when it comes to women football. Okay, the future of women football, away from that, the future of women football, looking at time um, from Okpa and Oze, mm. this set of players, whether you like it or not, will no longer play for the Sufa Falcons again. Mm. Okpa and Oze? Yeah, I'm also Azad, not... Ushala, I'm also not... And the rest uh, of them. They will yeah. no longer play for the Super Falcons again. And um, it's so unfortunate mm. that um, we are going to get um, not the best out of all these players. Mm. But let's look at a situation whereby you are trying to get them away from there. Mm. And I'm looking at the likes that have done so well for, for themselves. Now, mm. what am I talking about? You look at the likes of um, Aziza Toshuala. Mm. You look, look at um, the likes of um, Onomebi. Mm. They've done so well for themselves. They've done so well for themselves. And uh, we want to see a situation whereby we are doing well for ourselves. Now, let's look at this. These girls will go. What will be next for the future? Apparently, I say in a small time, we'll see Asisat Ushuala living. Mm. We'll see what's it called, um, Onome Ebi living. Yeah. Um, and the few of them, the, Ali Matu, Ayinde, and all that. Mm. What's the, the future? The, the like? future is very bright. But before I go to that question, my mind just went straight to Choma Jonwa. Choma Jonwa. All right. And okay. when you talk about Imo, the Imo State, okay. yeah, we, we know that Choma Jonwa, of course, at the time, played football. Yeah. In but not too deep. Yeah. yeah. Not too uh, deep like them. Uh, that's why I still say uh, we should give her that number one. But, you know, you can't also 
uh, take away. Will you be giving a power no say number one when it comes to sport uh, generally? No, 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 no. I'm talking about football. football. Yeah, female <laughs> okay. football. Yeah. Female football. So um, generally now, uh, regards your uh, last question. Um, you see, these girls are wonderful. They've done so well. They have done so well. Imagine, forget about them not uh, winning the World Cup, but what they did was excellent. And of course, right from the one, you know, right from time, they have been representing us very well. So go out there in the streets, go to so many places. We still have many female who would do better hmm. in future. So we are seeing them, and of course, um, um, uh, one of them have an academy now, and okay. we see so many of them also coming Doing up with academy, okay. grooming up uh, the younger ones, and uh, not only just uh, grooming them, making sure that they get them the right uh, club. So these are the things. If we have great future for uh, women football uh, in in future, okay. you know. So I'm seeing uh, it's going to be a challenge also in future with the melting. We know maybe a lot of people would doubt that. But from what we are seeing, we are seeing a lot of uh, uh, input, you know, in this uh, uh, game. And also, we are also seeing a lot of uh, things happening there that will really uh, catapult this very spot, you know, to a very high uh, standard. Few years ago, um, some days ago, we're thinking around the world drum would have been sacked, but um, they've just extended his contract. Um, mm -hmm. The NFF said the technical committee to look into it. Now, a lot of people said Randy is not um, the kind of job um, player um, coach we want. Mm -hmm. But if you look at what he did at the World Cup, but pre to the World Cup, it wasn't as fantastic. I got into statistics and um, uh, and report. Mm -hmm. It's a good decision, but some things we should never at any time decide to employ a foreign coach for these super Falcons, that we have a lot of coach qualify to put in the super Falcons well at the right spot. Mm. What's your opinion on the extension of Randy's contract or whether we should not always, we should not employ a um, foreign coach um, in the future? Your expert opinion. Yeah, uh, uh, you know, I'm worried that um, uh, sometimes something that's supposed to be uh, secret or not secret but confidential in aspect of uh, administration is being thrown to the public anyhow. Yeah, whenever there is such competition, especially a highly competition of that nature, and uh, whether they did well or not, or not. yeah, there's always a review. Mm. The review shouldn't create so much uh, dust to say, oh, this man is being sacked, uh, he didn't do well. He didn't do this. No, that's not the truth. The truth is that he had done well. And uh, maybe to the eyes of so many people within the NFF and also some experts, maybe he could have done better or could have done more. Now, it is the job of NFF, NFF. to review every contract, especially uh, after uh, some uh, such competition. competition yeah. You know, they review the contract and also, you know, look at the performance. You are you saying know? that um, that the technical committee should do the job without making so much of yeah, noise about... Yeah, there shouldn't be noise. It should be all about, okay, let's analyze his performance. Uh, how did he take this But we have, we have a, this, is a, this is the footballing nation where we want to know what's next. Yeah, because, you know, those who are supposed to do the right thing, you know, when you give them, they are, they are overzealous, you know. Sometimes they have to create unnecessary dust. Ah, we are reviewing this man, we are going to sack him. But that's not the issue. Hmm. Yeah, it's a thing, it's an internal affair. You review and also, you know, analyze his performance. And then uh, we are, uh, you give a report. That is the proper, appropriate thing to do. You give a report to the board and say, okay, this is what we have seen. And then the, report, uh, the board will not say, okay, uh, you have done well, uh, but maybe uh, we have to look for a way to see if we can get another hand to support him or to ask him to leave completely, or we can continue with him. But it shouldn't be something the truth does, you know, uh, making it look as if uh, he didn't do well at all. Mm -hmm. So, we, I, I mean, uh, it's something that we, we don't expect. But is the is new of contract, is it okay by you? Renewing? Yeah, yeah that's um, uh, around the world. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Uh, for me, I wouldn't like to go straight 
to answer that question uh, because, uh, yeah, there are ethics when it comes to coaching. And I would like to judge him. Uh, he is the one that is on ground. He sees better than us that are far. But notwithstanding, tactically, there are some things he could have done. Mm. If I'm him, I could have done uh, 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 some other things that I believe that could have, have changed the given game. us better edge than what we have seen. But, you know, we may not just judge him completely and say, why didn't you do this? We don't know the situation where he is at that moment. So I would like to uh, throw it direct and say, oh, no, he should be uh, sacked or uh, his contract should be renewed. But I'm saying maybe she, he could have done better, but he knows uh, the situation at that moment. Okay. So I will leave it at that point. Okay. Well, well, well said. Um, that's why we always call you because your opinion is always very neutral, mostly yeah. the truth. But let's go to another one that um, what I've been trained is still on women's football, mm. and this is bring bring um, about um, Okpa and Jose um, retiring because mm. we need to know th what is next with this. Now, people say there's a catch up that other African countries are catching up. Some said there is no catch up. What we have is we're not doing our job. Mm -hmm. Now, in the past, we never could imagine us getting defeated by anything. Mm -hmm. But now that can happen at any point in time, mm -hmm. even with our race of, 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 of stars. Now, do you think the other um, women football in Africa that are catching up with us? Mm -hmm. Because the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and mm -hmm. all that, we've always won the trophy. Mm -hmm. Are they catching up or our own performance as a national team it's going down. What uh, side do you believe, or you have a different opinion to this? Honestly, uh, Mudashitu, our women football is not going down. And uh, talking about catching up, of course, that is expected for other uh, African countries to be active. You know, uh, we don't expect them to go to sleep. And whoever that is analyzing this thing, are we are catching up or are we not catching up? Or are, we, or are they catching up with us or are we doing well? We should be looking at the grassroots as well, the development aspect of uh, this uh, uh, women football. Are we actually uh, serious with the development? If, you, if I want to analyze uh, the Nigerian football, I mean the Nigerian women football, I will not just look at the expert we have now. I will be looking more at the development that we have. Okay. You understand? I'll be looking at the development we have. What is actually happening with the development aspect? So are we really growing? Okay, that's what I will look at. And with that, I can be able to analyze the future properly. So uh, this is not an issue. Uh, we are doing well in women football. Look at what uh, Aisha Falode him, uh, she alone, you know, uh, on her own, even not being the, uh, this thing now, have been doing so well as well on her own. I can tell you I've been seeing what these women are doing, mm -hmm. you know, uh, behind the camera. Mm -hmm. And I can tell you they are serious about it. And talking about uh, our legend, uh, uh, Obara Nozie, you know, who just retired, she's not going to sleep. Hmm. Yeah, we are still going to see her coming out as a coach. As you know, she'll be advocate for women. Yeah, you know, and also trying to bring up uh, the younger ones. So, uh, don't think uh, we, what we are seeing is what we can see now. But a lot is also happening behind the camera. So the only thing I am saying that the government, uh, the appropriate bodies, those who have what it takes to support women football in Nigeria, should do that and. Those who are afraid that other African countries will catch us up, they should also come with their support to make sure that uh, we are not afraid of being catch. I mean, uh, being catch up. But what we are talking, what we are saying is that we should, you know, continue giving them that uh, pace, you know, that distance. And uh, I think we are doing the right thing uh, from what I have seen, both in public, I mean, both openly and also behind. Uh, 
the cameras. A lot is happening. A lot is happening. Well said. I'm sure if there are people outside there, they'll probably be jotting notes yeah. from your perfect opinion and your thought processes. Mm. I think um, a lot of people will fall in love with women football with your thoughts. And mm. now let's let's see this. We, we, we are looking at our league. It has not been so interesting. Before we talk about the league, let's look at um, we've now uh, the women football, the women's senior national team, the Super mm. Falcons, mm. are not going the way of um, the um, super egos mm. in making sure that um, the people have criticized that bringing in players based over there ahead of those yeah mm. is that a proper way to go ignoring those that play here ignoring those that play here because you have to go outside the country and play mm. then they see you are being talked about then they call you mm. and that's a new process the same applies to the super egos uh, it's a good one. Uh, 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 for me, uh, let me just go straight to this. You know, uh, a lot of people like to criticize. You understand? But those who are criticizing, doesn't ask, they don't ask questions mm. to understand why some of these things are being put in place. Now, let's look at this thing in aspect of wealth of experience. Okay? Those who have the wealth of experience. Mm. You know? And... Let's look at it, not only from the experience. Now, if we have local players here who are doing well, it is the responsibility of these yeah. people to make sure that these players have the feel of uh, playing outside, you know, in another climate. So this is what I think. So it's not good to just criticize like that. The people they are bringing in, they are, it doesn't mean those people that cannot play. There are also those who can also do well. So we should encourage them and uh, do the needs for where necessary. So I think this is important and uh, we should not just end up criticizing why, sh why are we bringing uh, those playing in diaspora uh, to join okay. the team instead of using only the local players.